is all about me describing my reasons why I would not do that. That's how we're all guys getting get out. All the email correspondence with me and the service is like amazing, like spot on, like super super quick. Hey guys, check out how many feathers. It's like a house, a land of ducks and swans. I actually brought some bread to give to them and I think they know I have some food because they're literally coming at me. Oh my god! <laughs> you want that? <laughs> Alright guys. from the hand before. the hand. Look! You got it! You got it! That's <laughs> okay, hey girl, you're good. I think I'm done. I think they love me. Check out how big these guys are. Oh, I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> this sounds so funny. Our ride is here. So I'm gonna. Uh, we're going to the boat. It's arriving. <laughs> Wow, so cool. It's amazing. I still have some bread left, just a bit, and I want to give it to the dog. They're going away, no! Come back! That guy, that guy over there, I think you might see. Look! Okay, okay, he's coming. Do you wanna. How are you gonna do this? I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna throw. Okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hey guys, these houses are so amazing. You're literally looking out on the water. You open your window and the water is right here. If you have a dog, the dog can just go for a swim or you can like throw something out from your window into the water and ask ask your dog to like grab it for you. Please don't call animal control on me. This area, it just feels like I'm just so scared of like a crocodile or, or an alligator just jumping in at us. And I know there is no fucking crocodiles or anything like that in London. I imagine that. Ah, it's clapping. That's a white house. So I was feeling pretty run down. I was like, let me take a nap. And I slept for four hours and it's nine o'clock. But what we've just seen is Lara trying to bite a fly for the first time, you guys. Usually it's Lynette who goes crazy about flies. And he grew some balls, you guys. He grew some balls. <laughs> Saturday the 14th of August and I've just discovered that my insurance also covers 50% off on the pure gym membership and I'm like there is a pure gym literally right around the corner and I'm just gonna go for it guys because I'm not sticking to consistent workouts at home it's just not the right fit I'd like to try that try out like a gym experience I want to go to various classes and all that stuff so I'm registering for that now you guys I'm going to central London because I have my last laser appointment. I started this laser thing two years ago and because of COVID I had to stop and today's my final day. <sighs> so done going there, like I'm so happy it's the last time. Also, you guys, <sighs> I'm stressing over this other thing that will happen later today and I'll just tell you more about this on the train because I need to go to the train station.
Oh my gosh, I forgot how busy it gets on a Saturday, Sunday. Last time, or well, every time I come here, it's usually a Thursday and it's more or less alright. But you guys, so many people. Uh, let me just find the green spot to chill at. Alright, so I got myself a coffee because I didn't eat in the morning and I'm so hungry. I literally don't have any energy and I'm really grumpy. So the reason why I came to Central on a Sunday is because well, a couple of reasons. So the first one, I have my last laser appointment, as I told you already. Second reason is I got my gym membership, you guys, and I want to go to the gym today to just check it out and clear out my head. I don't actually have any gym outfits or anything. I mean, I can just wear my Adidas trousers. The only pair of Adidas trousers I have and I've been wearing for the last six years, you guys. I guess I could just get some super cheap leggings of some sort i don't know i don't know but also i don't have any running shoes and i've noticed that with vans they're not super i don't know i'm just gonna get a pair of super cheap running shoes and solidify my attempt to go to the gym at least three times a week the reason why i do that is you know it's actually quite similar to having something wrong with your face like underbite or like anything and you know, you're trying to hide it all the time it's exactly the same feeling i've been getting recently with my tummy i literally put on four kilos in the last i don't know i think since the beginning of the year or something the reason why i'm bringing this up is because it never happened in my life my weight has always been 52 i kind of think this is because obviously i'm not working out or exercising or anything like that and i gave up smoking so these two reasons are contributing factors to this and i do know that you're supposed to put on weight before surgery and all that and so i'm not stressing out too much about it but at the same time it's super uncomfortable having to kind of hide it all the time and just i tried to put on a pair of jeans that i got that i always used to wear for the last i don't know like a long long time and i couldn't put them on because they were too small and that kind of freaked me out a bit i was like what the actual fuck the reasons of staying active and losing weight getting to my normal weight also just being active you guys like my back hurts so much today i don't understand why it literally hurts so much and i'm like oh my god i have to keep moving i always feel so much adrenaline rushing through once i've exercised i feel like i can do so much more i just want to get that feeling more often i feel it's a very positive feeling to have so yeah i've outlined all the reasons why i'm going to go to the gym you guys and there's one more thing and i'm stressing over it a lot okay so my manager not my line manager but my manager boss is thinking of opening his own starting his own company like a startup and he is and i don't know it may have been me who was giving him like the wrong impression at some point because we did have this conversation at the beginning of the year and he said hey i'm thinking of doing this and that or the other like are you with me or not and i'm like yeah man i'm with you but in the last couple of months it's becoming more and more real and i think he's under the impression that i will be joining his startup and leaving the company i work at and the thing is he's thinking of getting me and my other colleague to join a startup and potentially i don't want to get into too many details but today's conversation that i arranged with him is all about me describing my reasons why i would not do that and it's quite stressful because i think he lays a lot of hopes on the fact that i and my colleague will betray them because me and him are literally the guys who do the job and he never actually does anything apart from providing top level feedback and just shaping what we've done already we would be the main force of his new startup i don't know when it's difficult it's difficult to like break this new stream because i i don't know man i don't know i don't want to be in this position at the same time you know of I don't want to leave him under the impression that I will be joining a startup, that's all I'm saying. And 
I have so many reasons why I wouldn't. For example, I don't want to join a startup for the reasons that it is quite uncertain. I was self-employed for six years before and it was awful. It was so stressful and I don't need any extra stress in my life. I need my insurance to cover random stuff like for example my jaw surgery or anything like that. I also wouldn't want to join a startup because in a couple of years time and I'm saying, I don't know, three, four years time, I'm planning to have kids and I need to be working in a company for a certain period of time for me to be eligible for mat leave, payment support and whatever, you know. And when you are working for a startup, there's nothing like that. Um, I also want to go up the career ladder, get a more managerial role, higher paid role. Yeah, I don't think that would be the case in a startup. Another reason that I would not want to continue working with them is that our work relationship is quite toxic, you guys. It's very toxic. And I kind of want to get rid of that toxicity. I want to get out of that toxicity. I want to join a new company and start fresh and form new working relationships with other people as opposed to continuing with this super tight, group of people I've been working with for three years hasn't been super healthy uh, there's been a lot of instances where I was like no it's not like it should be this way it's awful some of my colleagues attended therapy for this you know because of our team and how toxic everything is why would I purposefully push myself into this you know not push myself just do this to myself i don't see any point in that so um i need to lay it all out in today and i'm stressed because it's a stressful thing to do you know um anyway you guys it is 1 20. my appointment is at 4 and i'm in waterloo my appointment is in oxford so i have a shit ton of time to spare uh, so i'm just gonna longboard all the way to oxford street i'm gonna go to primark or sports direct or something to get like the cheapest stuff possible First stop would be Sports Direct and then planning to go to Primark which is further and I'll be coming all the way back to Bond Street where I'm now for my appointment and all the way back. What do you guys think? I really like this one. Like literally the first one I saw was like Amazing. Look, one of the cheapest ranges, and it's Adidas, and I, I always go for Adidas. I don't know why. And that's how we're all, guys. Get in, get out. I literally spent less than a minute. I was like, those. <laughs> now I need to get leggings. So I got something in the end, and I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna get whatever. I am super excited because I'm like super dressed up now to go to the gym. I won't feel like an outsider or anything, and it should motivate me to continuously go to the gym. But I have so much time on my hands, you guys. It's only 2.30, and oh, I don't know what to do. I was thinking I don't have any, what do you call it, any like pyjamas that don't go over your head. So, and I'll need that for the surgery and for the recovery. I'm just gonna go Primark, see if they have something super cheap and super cozy. I might as well have so much time, so I'm just gonna go there and now. I'm so hungry, you guys. Decided to to see if I can get like a sandwich or something. It's like I have half an hour to go, and I'm almost at my point in my place. You really fancy like an egg and grass sandwich. It doesn't seem like they have any, so weird. Okay, guys, apparently the fridges weren't working or something, they didn't have any sandwiches or anything to go. So, 
I don't know, I'll see if there's any uh, places on the way I work and that's why I'm just moving. Are you guys seeing this? Why is everything so pink? I got a really overpriced sandwich from Brad. I can't believe they charge two pounds for it. It's just literally a slice of bread and some egg in it. I, overall, I feel bad for how much money I've spent today, though everything I bought was like the cheapest thing ever. Uh, every time I spend money, I feel so guilty, you guys. So guilty. It's just ingrained in my... It's either that or Jamie. <laughs> Hey guys, so a couple of updates. I'm on my way home now. Had my laser appointment and they did agree with me that my treatment is not complete yet. It should have been much better by this stage, but they're basically scheduling in a review session to see how many more sessions I'll need. So that's that. And then the meeting I had with my boss and it went really good. I think I think I was able to tell him what my stance was on the whole thing and I hope he understood but at least now I feel so much better that he's not thinking that I will be joining, joining anything and my conscience is clear and it's just good to be open about where we stand with important things like that 